Welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province. The Orient implementing the decision number 629-29-2012 of the Right Minister on approving the strategy for Vietnam's family development to 2020 with a vision to 2030. The party committees and authorities at all levels of the province has identified family wars as one of the important contents of the program and has achieved certain results. The province has issued many policies for families, especially difficult families, families with meritorious services to the revolution. As a result, the living conditions of families have been significantly improved and they have also had basic conditions to perform and promote their functions. The authorities at all levels, mass organizations, communities, and people have paid more attention to family work and domestic violence prevention and control that have positively changed behaviors about domestic violence, gender inequality, and prevent moral degradation in the family, build and maintain the sustainable happiness of each family towards stability, equality, and civilization. However, some limitations still exist regarding the perception of the position, role and responsibility of the family in social economic development, responsibility of the family towards the community and each family member. Divorce and separation tend to increase. Domestic violence still occurs, especially sexual and spiritual violence is difficult to identify, and victims often don't dare to speak up make it difficult for state agencies to assess and help them. In addition, the model for domestic violence prevention and control in some places isn't working synchronously. The limitation of the steering boards of domestic violence prevention groups, groups collaborations in hamlets and neighborhoods affect the performance of groups and groups, and the team of collaborations haven't met the requirements of the task set out. After multiple missed appointments marked by urban water supply system under the Mekong Subregions Project in Thuận Tây Hamlet, Loại Thuận Khamil, Bến Gào District, is about to be boosted into operation to provide clean water for people. Mobile urban water supply system has a desired capacity of 7,000 cubic meter per day and night. When completed and put into operation, it will provide clean water for daily activities of about 20,000 households in the two communes of Lai Thuong and An Thanh of Bên Cầu District, as well as Phước Bình and Phước Dị communes of Trang Bàn Thao. The construction has been completed and in trial operation. The test results so that the water sample meets the requirements of the clean water standard of the Ministry of Health. The Provincial People's Committee has assigned a Center for Clean Water and Sanitation under the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development to manage, operate, and put into use to serve the people's clean water supply. It's expected that the project will be officially put into operation in September 2022. Turn to other news. The audience on August 27, Hoàng Quân Group cooperated with Golden City Investment John Stop Company to hold the inauguration ceremony of the model upper house and put on sale for houses as the Golden City Rochester in World 2 Tenant City. Golden City is a modern social housing apartment complex built on an area of 3.5 hectares with a total investment of nearly 2,000 billion Vietnam dong. This is the high-rise apartment project integrating smart technology in Tenant Province the project consists of seven 16-story apartment blocks. Up to this point, the project has completed the construction of the 16th floor of four apartment blocks, expected to be handed over soon in the near future. All apartments are built in a square shape to optimize the usable area. The Golden City project is being urgently built to keep up with the schedule. Many customers have made a deposit on the houses right on the day of opening for sale at Golden City Project. Today, we have opened the next sale. Customers have accompanied and shared with us. They have deposited quite a lot. Up to this point, nearly 200 apartments have been sold. 
The apartments here are really suitable, located in the center, being convenient for us to visit places such as the Holy See by the mountain. I have paid a deposit on the 12th floor apartment aimed to see the beautiful view of the city. Home buyers at the Golden City project only need to pay 50%. When receiving the house, they will pay 1% per month. The Bank for Social Policy support borrowing 80% of the referential interest rate package at 4.8% per year for 25 years. The Golden City project is expected to meet the needs of settlements and occupations, bringing to the market a supply of quality housing for people. On August 26, the Youth Union and the Vietnam Youth Federation of Hoa Thanh Tao organized a program for youth doing business clubs to exchange experience and comment the example of young people doing good business and production in 2022. Hoa Thanh Tao currently has two young doing business clubs operating effectively with the participation of nearly 50 members. These clubs not only contribute to the propagation and transfer of scientific and technical advances, but also support and share capital and economic development experiences for their members, contributing to creating jobs for young union members and local economic development. As part of the program, union members and young people also had a chance to share with Mr. Nguyen Hu E, director of Hu E Liquor Company Limited, based in Trung Hoa Commune, about the advantages, difficulties, and personal experiences in the process of starting a business. Union members and young people also exchange experiences around the topic, young startup, start a business in the full personal era. This time, the Youth Union and the Vietnam Youth Federation of the Tao rewarded a typical young people doing good business and production, organized an excursion for union members and young people to visit and learn experiences at the model cow breeding farm combined with coconut cultivation in Long Thanh Bắc Ward. With the spirit of youth of the Plus Union, Saturday would now rest. On August 27, the Emulation Cluster No. 4, the Provincial Agencies and Enterprises Plus Youth Union, chaired by the Youth Union of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, organized the program, gave strength to school on the occasion of the 2022-2023 school year. The program was held in Fugian Commune of the Tan District. The units gave 85 gifts, including notebooks and learning tools to the students who had overcome difficulties to study well in the commune. Besides, 25 gifts, including milk, cake, and other necessities, were also given to students in difficult circumstances. Previously, a similar activity was also organized in the La Commune of Yuman Chau District with a total budget of over 35 million vietnam supported by sponsors. The audience only about one week left on student maintenance will intern the 2022-2023 school years. This year, the province continues to change new textbooks for the third, seven, and ten grades. So the preparations of the textbooks is always a great concern to parents, students, and school. 2022-2023 is the third school year that is implementing the 2018 General Education Program for the first, second, third grades and the sixth, seventh, and tenth grades. In order to continue to change new books to the third, seventh, and tenth grades, the Department of Education and Training has cooperated with publishers to introduce new textbooks and open training courses for teachers. After the Provincial People's Committee issued the decision on the list of textbooks, the department directed schools to review, collect opinions, and wish to register for textbooks. Through reviewing, we found that the majority of students registered to ask the school to buy new books. As planned, on August 29th, all students gather at the school and receive books to repair for a new school year after the school reopens on September 5th. This year is the year of implementing the textbook reform program for the third grade students. 
according to the regulations of the Provincial People's Committee, our school has a list of eight type of books posted in front of the school for parents to register or know to buy books for their children. We have prepared learning materials for our children. As for textbooks, the school has already repaired them. Now books keep in chain from one type to another, so our parents don't know what kind of book to buy. We are very reassured that the school has supported us to buy books. Up to now, 195 primary schools have received 217,000 new textbooks for the third grade. 103 secondary schools have received more than 219,000 6th grade textbooks and more than 199,000 7th grade ones. As for the 10th grade textbook, about 20 out of 28 schools have received textbooks, but still not enough. This year, history has become a compulsory subject instead of an elective subject as before. Up to this point, professors have fully supplied textbooks to schools as for the 10th grade textbooks because students have to re-register subject combination in accordance with the adjustment of the Ministry of Education and Training. In addition to providing textbooks for the 2022-2023 school year, the Department of Education and Training has coordinated with book publishers and distribution companies to supply enough textbooks from grade 1 to grade 12. Currently, the preparations for the opening ceremony and the first week of the new school year are actually implemented by schools. The province education sector will continue to direct staff and teachers to actively research to perform well in the new school year. That's all for today's TTV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.